day folks just tidying up this little pump here and getting ready to strip it down uh, it's all Australian built motor pump and everything not sure what it came off uh, being a three phase 415 volt motor it's probably off a piece of industrial machinery like a cooling tower or heat exchanger injection molding machine something like that may not have pumped water it may have pumped some sort of solution the housing's got this brown oxide inside it so probably water based uh, not 100% sure what it was for but I'm going to clean it up 100% it's got this gaudy 1960s hammer tone green on the pump and a matte like light green on the motor which is a much older style than the pump so it's probably around 40s or 50s era still not 100% sure how old it is but somebody might help the impeller housing is a lot of rust pitting around the outside edge around here so it's probably leaky probably why they scrapped it impeller has been sitting long enough that there's paper wasps inside the galleries here the housing's also pitted and the gasket's just disintegrated I don't know how the pump's going to go working but I'll get the motor restored in the base the pump's got its own little oil rings and solid bronze bearing all that's going to clean up So yeah, it's time to clean this thing apart and start de-rusting and de-painting. Okay, well this is the base for the uh, pump unit. It's been in the tank about 24 hours. Well, at least this half has. I've had it hanging off the uh, rafters with a few chains from the top. And it's like day and night. You can see where the electrolysis has worked. Nice clean cast. This will oxidise lightly, especially when I do this end. But you can see what it was like before. Not nice. So I'm going to hang it the other way up and do the bottom half. The tank's not big enough to take the whole. Okay, well there's the second part of it being done. As you can see, I've just made up a crude little uh, sling for it. Only problem with moving the tank across is it's not directly under this beam anymore, so I can't hang off it. But eventually I'll put another crossbar in all the way across with a uh, roller carriage on it so that I can actually run a uh, crane and block and tackle I'll probably have to relocate the compressors and things and run beams straight down to the ground and bolt them down to support the weight but it should make a nice little monorail crane I've already found the piece of I-beam that I want i just got to find some uprights and things and put it into uh, action build her up that's running nicely I'll leave that overnight. Okay, well that's the base done. All ready primed. Using the uh, Super Etch Epoxy. Very good primer. Probably one of the best you'll get in a spray can. Not a high build though. Very flat, thin. You cannot, cannot remove it. Very hard to get off. You can see the uh, corrosion where water was trapped under the pump housing. Probably been there about 20 years or so. That's the underside of the pump housing. It was leaching through these little, tiny little pinholes which I've opened up. The whole housing's rusted through on this uh, waste lubricant sump. The main packing and gland in the pump housing has leaked for a prolonged amount of time and just rusted it all out. That's why there was water trapped underneath. Butch is all going to be fixed up. Well, it's been a couple of weeks since I started this. I figure I'll give you an off update. I've used electrolysis on most parts, couplings, the base, um, headstock or pump pump mount. There's a lot of rust in there. Just, nobody's ever tensioned the uh, glands on it when it started leaking and it's just rusted and leaked around all over the place. So that's going to require a bit of attention. Uh, particularly these holes, I'll get the Devcon aluminium putty out again same stuff I used on the Honda engine block. Uh, this one's the same. I had to build up some of those surfaces there where the pits were, rub them back. But she'll pump again. 
one of the same lifespan. I mean, I called the manufacturer and they don't make gaskets for these either. They make the next model along, which is 1960, but these early 50s pumps, they just don't make them anymore. I've got one of the other parts, I think it's a gland pressure plate in there. Obviously I'll replace that bearing race there, clean everything else up. The bronze bearings have been well taken care of, they've always been oiled, so they're fine. I'm not going to go overboard on this pump. And the best part is the hole centres across this mount are the same as the bolts on the billiards. Uh, the billiards foot plates are a bit narrower, so I'll just drill and tap into these riser plates, these bars, which come off, bolt them down here, and just drill and tap into here to bolt the billiards down. Because the three-phase AC motor, I haven't got around to testing it on three-phase, but I can't even get it to run with a start capacitor. So I don't know if that's good or not. But I'll definitely try and make it engine drive anyway.